These top shows feature some serious girl power. I'm sorry! Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV series with all female leads. Know what she likes what I like. She always wants what I want more than what she wants. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at shows where all the major characters are played by women. I can still imagine all the dirty things I do to him. Number 10, The Handmaid's Tale. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Based on Margaret Atwood's book of the same name, this show took the world by storm when it was released on Hulu. It showcases a world not unlike our own, where women are left completely powerless by a system of government. And who led them on? <laughs> Whose fault was it? It follows Alfred, who is forced into being a concubine-like figure, and shows the steps that are taken against women to make sure that they obey. Whose fault was it, girls? Her fault. Her fault. Her fault. Her fault. Her fault. Despite the brutality, there is still hope, because it shows us that no matter how much you oppress a group of people, there will always be rebellion. It's a hard look at a world that could be, and should be on everyone's must-watch list. Change is coming. There's hope. All of this, it's all gonna be over one day. Number nine, the L word. What about men? Men. You do know that we're lesbians, right? A groundbreaking show for the LGBTQ community, this series was one of the earliest to focus on the lives of queer women. Does that mean that you're finding it oh, difficult? No. It's dramatic and sometimes over the top, and even though it ended in 2009, it remains one of the most iconic shows for queer women despite others that have come since. We were just talking about sex with no emotional entanglement. It introduced the world to a group of women whose sexuality was an inherent part of their lives and who weren't afraid to show it. And we don't know about you, but we are super excited for the officially confirmed sequel. Are you thinking about having sex with me right now? It's crossed my mind. Number eight, girls. I'm working on a book, so uh, that's pretty much all I'm doing with my time these days. This critically acclaimed show, created by and starring Lena Dunham, has been on people's radar since it began airing on HBO in 2012 as a representation of what modern life is like for millennials. Bonjour, Remy. Ça va? Oh my god, you're so hip, I could puke. With the lives of four friends front and center, it's a mostly fun, though sometimes heartbreaking, romp through love, work, and broken dreams. You know what the weirdest part about having a job is? Um, I'm, no, I'm a student. You have to be there. While it has received criticism for its whitewashed representation of New York City, it's still a show worth watching because it tackles some very important issues. I mean, think about it, like we were all just doing our best, so. Number seven, living single. Girl is fabulous. I've turned it into a little French hideaway. This one is a landmark show, since throughout its entire run of five seasons, it was one of the most popular sitcoms with a primarily black cast. And with Queen Latifah as the top billed actor, did we expect anything less? Girl! Max is up here! She hide, yo! She right here! Come here! Like any good sitcom, it entertains us with wit and humor, but is tempered with the struggles of characters who dedicate their lives to their dreams. You know, I'm proud of you, baby. I've never seen anybody stand by such a bad decision. Whether it's trying to run a magazine or finding love, there is something about these women living together in their Brooklyn brownstone that speaks to us. We are thrilled to hear reports that a revival with the original cast is in the works as of 2017. If there's anybody who's gonna provide any comfort right now, it's gonna be me, all right? Number six, Big Little Lies. What can I get you, Maddie? Oh, I'll have a cappuccino and a shot. When a show has more Emmy wins than it has episodes, you know it's gotta be worth watching, marking the presence of several big name actors who decided to try their hand at television. This limited run series takes us into the world of elementary school politics. I'm gonna call again about that petition thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. But they it. should be able to just take my name off, I mean. Without giving away any spoilers, it also touches on more serious topics. Based on the Australian novel of the same name by Leanne Moriarty, the show leaves the Aussie setting for a Californian one. If I catch you driving and texting again, I will find your mother and I will throw this at her. It's a completely mesmerizing show and accurately portrays what it's like to be a mother navigating the complex social dynamics that come with it. Number five, Pretty Little Liars. I'm listening. If you thought your high school experience was hard, 
It's likely nothing compared to what these girls go through. A group of five best friends becomes four when one of them goes missing. Their lives slowly unravel as they begin receiving text messages detailing their deepest, darkest secrets. All signed by A. I'm still here, bitches. The threats escalate, and the girls have to balance keeping A happy and living their lives. I remembered something about that night. With a self-awareness of a genre, the show draws on noir tradition while also balancing it with the teenage drama that each of the girls deal with, including love, parents, and school. When I played with dolls, I played with body parts. Number four, Desperate Housewives. Oh, Mary Alice, what did you do? Life on Wisteria Lane is fairly normal, at least until Mary Alice Young kills herself. Following her suicide, it is revealed that there's a lot more going on behind closed doors than anyone could have imagined. I know you're having a hard time, but please hold it together. I'm trying. Try harder. The four main characters, who were friends and neighbors of Mary Alice, have to deal with the fallout of this unexpected event, as well as the ups and downs of their own lives. It's intriguing and it's relatable. But most of all, it's downright hilarious. I don't trust friendly women. That's okay, they don't trust you either. It's also the show that holds the title of longest running hour long television series featuring all female leads. Be a good person, knock yourself out. Number three, The Golden Girls. Ma, you don't have any jewels. <laughs> Thank God, because I can't find them. One of the most iconic shows to have ever graced our televisions, this series blessed us with some of the most sharp-tongued, witty women we've ever had the pleasure of watching. Well, you must be Blanche's sister. You must be blind. When four women, getting on in life, all live under the same roof, you know things are going to get real. None of them Miami natives, but they all find themselves moving there to begin a new chapter of their lives after their husbands have left or died. Rose, what was your first impression of me? I thought you wore too much makeup and were a slut. Critically acclaimed, this is one of those comfort shows that we love to watch on rainy days or after a broken heart. There's just something about it that will always make us feel better. For 100 points, complete this famous saying, better late than... Blanche! Pregnant! Number two, Orange is the New Black. When you say that everybody hates me, you're being a little hyperbolic, right? There's nothing like prison to turn you into a criminal. Featuring one of the most diverse female-led casts on television, this show takes us through the corridors of Litchfield Penitentiary, giving us brief insights into the lives of the prisoners and their past. I don't want to bore anyone with my problems. All problems are boring until they're your own. It's also a powerful look into the degrading and uncomfortable conditions that inmates face in prison, from the state of the facility to the attitudes of the correctional officers who preside over the inmates. You just stood there. What? You stood there. Well, she attacked me. While it's sometimes funny, sometimes touching, and will sometimes reduce us to puddles of tears, it's one of our favorites because it doesn't shy away from the tough issues. I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop so bad. I wanted him to stop. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. This gorgeous stranger has taken on Zoya for the crown. Just this morning, I met a woman at Carl's Jr. with a poor problem. <laughs> But tonight, I'm gonna go over to her house and close them off. Piper, promise me you're not gonna overreact. Is that even possible? Number one, sex in the city. Don't laugh at me, but maybe we could be each other's soulmates. While it has received its share of retroactive criticism, you can't deny that at the time of its release, Sex in the City was truly groundbreaking. With four single friends navigating life in New York City, it's a show where the main characters can talk to each other about anything, empowering women through their strong relationships with one another. I told Aiden about the affair and he broke up with me. Trey and I never had sex on our honeymoon. You win. As a result, the show has some interesting conversations, including ones about sexuality and what it's like to be a woman and asked tough questions that had previously gone unaddressed in pop culture. And finally, the most important breakup rule. No matter who broke your heart or how long it takes to heal, you'll never get through it without your friends. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.